this, Chief Trainer with Simmons and Bristow. This short little vid is just going to tell you about three different types of situation or condition that might exist around what sort of oxygen or other gases are present for any of your microorganisms to breathe. So let's start off with anaerobic. What that means is there is absolutely no oxygen of any kind in that environment. So a good example of that would be inside an anaerobic digester at a wastewater treatment plant. The next type of state we can talk about is called anoxic. It means we don't have any free oxygen, so no oxygen gas, but what we do have is bound oxygen. What that means is oxygen that's chemically bonded to other types of atoms to make molecules of a different kind. Something that the bugs can use as an oxygen supply when there is no ordinary oxygen. A good example of that might be nitrate, and that's what your activated sludge microorganisms might breathe in the anoxic zone of an activated sludge reactor. Last, we come to the simple one, an aerobic environment. That's just like what we're living in now, we've got plenty of free oxygen. I hope you watch the next video and learn how these different types of oxygen state relate to the different layers in your treatment lagoons or oxidation ponds. Thanks.